one point, two point. How about multi point? Ah, huh? ah. Huh? You want to know what sling this is? Magpul. I think it's a third or fourth generation, and it gives me the availability to now go from two point to one point, vice versa. So let's talk about the pros and cons real quick. A two point sling. All you guys need to know is that there is two points of contact. A one point sling. There will be only one point of contact. Each rifle is different, so it's going to depend how you want your configuration of a sling set up. On a two point sling, which I've come more accustomed to and using on an everyday uh, basis or every time I go to the range or this is just my preferred method now, a couple things I can do here, all right? So I can go to work here, bang, 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 bang. If I need to do stuff with my hands, I have two options that I can cinch it up here. But the problem with that is when I go to duck down or do something here, it's kind of in the way. So my go-to would be to swindle this hand out, swindle this hand in, and put it behind me. Okay, my hands are covered. Now, obviously, I switch shoulders. So in the point that I need to get back in the fight, after I'm done doing what I'm doing here, I can come back this way, right? Swindle my hand in. I can go to work here. I can transition here, okay? Whatever I need to do, I can do from this point. I can go prone from here, right? I can go high port from here, reload from here. I mean, I can reload from here too. And those are all the pros that I can do with my two point sling. This little adjuster here will cinch the belt up closer, okay? If I need more of a close contact, depending if I'm wearing body armor or not, or war belt or I can cinch it back a bit to give me some slack and room and I can come up bang 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 and do what I need to do the disadvantage which is two point is that you're gonna have to go to nexus carry because they have this position here you can only go so far up okay so when you're going to you know push out of course you can give this more slack but then you're reaching back here and wasting unnecessary time so therefore you would just go to this here you can come down you can extend out you can do all this free motion right here as far as a one point thing is concerned this is your only single point of contact one point provides me a free range of motion so for example i can be high port i can reload from here you can do all your transitions from here and not have any worries okay so even if you're running none of this is in the way if you're shooting and you need to transition None of that's in the way, except when you're going to walk, because now you're going to walk and this thing's going to be dangling around whenever you're moving. That is one of the cons of single point, okay? What I did notice when I ran single point is I loved this freedom of movement when I go to do my mag changes, because there's no strap that can potentially prohibit my vision or um, my entry of my magazine. So I used to like that a lot because... That's how I like to reload, and it was very easy and normal for me to do that. However, when I started doing more walking movements and shooting on the move, I did not like where my single point was, and I didn't like how I operated with that. So I got this mag pull sling in the event that I need to change this out really quickly, or I have the option to at least. Um, to do that just in case if this point breaks I have two more points I can connect this to See that there it gives me the option to do both If I so choose to okay, and I can reduce the slack This way I can increase the slack I can flip it over my shoulder if I need to even though I don't really like that method I just prefer to administrative carry it on my dominant side Okay, so there's a bunch of different things I can do with this sling you let me know what works best for you if I forgot anything as far as the pros and cons. The cons are small, but they make a huge difference, especially when you start putting on kit and a war belt and your stuff is, you know, jingling around as you're running or doing whatever you're doing. A lot of people like to run two point and actually have it very loose so that it does take up that space with their armor and they can still do what they need to do on and off the field in training, but what have you. So... It's a great sling. I like it. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything, any pros and cons. Always be an asset. See you later.